Of course, you can have a donut on any day, but you know, in this rainy weather, that looked even better. But Rich, what's going on? Well, you know anything about? Uh, I'm not going to want a donut and drive. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but I'm bump. Uh -huh. He's here. My, he's here till 11:45, folks. Uh, here's the satellite and radar product. You may be able to make out the counterclockwise circulation of the area of low pressure that's over Southern California as we speak. We're starting to see little waves of energy, what we call short waves of energy, peeling off and running through the area right now. That's creating a little bit of lift, a little bit of instability. The moisture's out there anyway, and it's sparking off some shower activity, uh, mostly through the downtown area. I'll stop the radar and pop in the Doppler. May be hard to see. They're small showers, but they extend from just outside of Long Beach, from uh, uh, just around the 405 and 47 area up through Lakewood and the Compton area into Huntington Park and then the Boyle Heights areas. These were the cells we were watching through the Boyle Heights area uh, with Stu Mundell uh, in Sky 2 just a couple of minutes ago. And these cells are down from uh, dropping about three quarters of an inch of rain an hour to just less than a half an inch of rain an hour. Still a lot. And they're, they're just now starting to break up. These things have been in there since uh, about the four o'clock hour, just before the four o'clock hour. So it's been quite some time and it's no wonder we're seeing some of the street flooding we are seeing. Uh, again, some fairly decent cells through the Glendale area and La Crescenta and then up here in the San Fernando Valley heading from uh, Panorama City through Mission Hill. Some fairly decent cells through here. These cells also dropping at about a, a half an inch an hour is the rate and very fine rain uh, dropping through the Mount Baldy area just outside of San Antonio Heights at this hour. But all of this activity has prompted the National Weather Service to issue a flood advisory for much of the downtown area extending into the mountains just beyond the 210 through the Glendale area, through the Pasadena area, the La Crescenta area. We also have wind advisories off to our uh, north and west through Santa Barbara. These may come filtering down as we're really starting to see double-digit wind speeds pick up throughout much of Southern California. There's our forecast map. You can see the big trough of low pressure, center circulation over the area. These really dark red areas, these are short waves of energy that are going to peel off from time to time throughout the night and uh, early morning hours of tomorrow as this low starts to exit out. We get on the back side of the low. The air around it rotates counterclockwise, so these little areas of, of energy are going to peel off and keep coming through the area and could produce more shower activity. By Wednesday, uh, the low is almost out of the area, but then little short waves of energy start peeling off and more come through the area. So even though we're expecting high pressure to build out in the Great Basin and give us some weak offshore flow, we could still have disturbances running through the area for at least the next 24 to 48 hours. And then another storm starts brewing by the time the weekend rolls around. So it looks like we're starting to get into the storm track of winter here in Southern California, where the storms don't allow the highs to rebuild again and give us those warm temperatures. So it looks like fall may actually be here. Partly cloudy overnight tonight, 63 for the overnight low. Let's roll out the seven day outlook. Even though temperatures may be up a couple of degrees, don't uh, get complacent. We could still have those spotty showers anytime in the next 24 to 48 hours. 81 downtown tomorrow after hitting 79 today, 79 at the beach, 86 for the valleys and IE. Uh, it looks like we'll see some clearing by the time we start heading into the weekend, but that other area of low pressure starts brewing the Pacific Northwest. By the time Saturday rolls around, we could expect to see that the first of next week sometime. Pat, Paul, back to you.